proverb number 79, adversity. Adversity always seems to come at an unexpected time, from an unexpected source, or both. Even when you know it's coming, it can throw you off. However, you can prepare yourself, at least to some degree, ahead of time. Here's how. Cast yourself fully upon Jesus. A.W. Tozer stated, when I understand that everything happening to me is to make me more Christ-like, it resolves a great deal of anxiety. Trust in Him with all your heart. Believe Christ is in control even when you can't see a way out. This allows for peace in the midst of your storm, even though you will probably still get wet. Everything else results in stress and anxiety. Now, this kind of trust requires practice, and that's called faith, and this is a stumbling stone upon which many will fall because it sounds impossible. That being said, adversity, no matter how well you are prepared or the depth of your faith, may still cause heartache and strong emotions. Even Jesus wept at the loss of a friend. Faith doesn't mean you won't grieve, feel betrayed, or get angry. Accept your emotions as part of the process and then come back to the strong foundation of faith. God is in control and he does have a plan for your life.